Hello and welcome back to Nikkei. We have a new day. So let's start claiming stuff uh, daily. Now we go to the shop. Saw teeth, entire building. Hope you put it to good use. Yes, we have this case Thank discounted. You. That's good. We have everything in our shop. Oh, Just in time. Dear, to can't buy that either. Welcome to Rupee's shop. Another successful transaction. Can I help you? Thank you for coming. Are you looking for something? <laughs> All right. Wipe out. We are at 10k, that's nice. Flame. Let's check out the outpost. Bulletin board, upgrades. Flame, dispatch the next one. The synchro device, we can unlock new slot. And enhance. Do 17. Claim all of those. Nice. Um, solo raid is not happening, is it? No, we just got 600 for that. Yeah, well, timer. Do you have a free moment? What's wrong? There was something I was hoping I could get your advice on. That there are no customers coming to the toy store. That is a big issue, yes, but this is something even more important than that. What is it? Do you know a lot about makeup? Makeup? Yeah, now that I'm all grown up, I feel I should uh, know a bit more about cosmetics. Do you really feel you are old enough for all that? Of course. I don't know a whole lot about it myself, but go on. Dark lipstick that exceeds a mature look should be what you're after. Oh, are you sure that won't be too overt? Makeup should always stand out. I see. I'll keep that in mind. I'm really looking forward to the next mission now. What do you mean? Because of camouflage makeup. I was always taught to blend it on the battlefield. But apparently you should stand out. No, that's not... Okay, it, thanks, Toltamer. Thank talk to you next time. Nika, I don't think you quite understand. Nika, however, doesn't reply. Right. Hippo! Hey, Hippo! Huh? It's short f for imposture. <laughs> what? Nothing to say? Don't you know? Shorting wars is the new thing. If you don't say hip with the new lingo, you'll end up uh, feeling like everyone around you is speaking gibberish. You'll uh, grow old and bitter then. Bit. That means scan it. Huh? Wow, who would abbreviate something like that? I'll give you an A for effort, but that just terrible. I need to stay calm. Hey, what's with the silent treatment? You're not pissed off, are you? Come on, what is it? I was just finishing up some work. I didn't buy that for a second. You're just making excuses because you're hot under the collar. As for me, I'm actually busy, so I'll be going. Bye bye. Life is not easy. Nice. Uh, Nikkei. Let's check out the liberation for the day. One gift and recruit three Nikkeis, okay. I do want to get rid of noise. Actually, Mary. No. Add me. I'm a little scared. I think I'm starting to get attached. Is this all just a wonderful dream? Okay. Um. Let's see the recruits, if I can do them. I can do the friend ones. Advice, advice, advice. Someone asked me about commercial jingles not long ago. To be honest, I don't want to know nothing about them. 
Do you think I could pull it off? Of course you could. Really? I appreciate your confidence in me, but what makes you so sure? I believe anything in this world is an absolute uncertainty. Spend time giving you nice, earnest advice. Dola. Client, I'm going to ask you something, but keep in mind that it's merely a question. Have you ever broken the law? As in everyone? Oh, really? It seems you and I have more in common than I thought. Spend some meaningful time with Dola. Yan? I run into a lot of art customers on the job. Some of them really crossed the line. Uh, I'll take care of them for you. Ah, shucks, rookie. Thank you, even if you are just saying that. Listen to more of Yan's customer service side more stories. Are you seducing me? You're a player to the core, and you can't convince me otherwise. Matter. If you manage to reclaim the surface, how would you feel? I'd be elated. I knew it would feel that way. I would be happy to. Hope that day will come soon. Let me and I discuss the surface and its future. Harry? What do you think is the most sought after trade out for a doctor? Feeling compassion for their patients or distancing themselves from the patients? Uh, compassion. I expected you would say that. However, if you empathize too deeply with your patients, it could be traumatic. This is uh, only a problem for doctors. In that case, it would be wise to maintain a certain mental distance from the DKs whom you are counseling. Understood? As it turned out, I was the one who received counseling from Mary. Festy. Matter, if someone hurt your feelings, how would you respond? Is there a way to keep your feelings from being hurt? Uh, whatever they did to me, I would do the same thing right back at them. Then you're not better than they are. I don't think that's right. I wouldn't feel good about it. I give Vesti more advice on how to let insults roll off your back. Sente. Boss, do you like crowded place places? Or do you prefer places with fewer people around? Empty places. Do you prefer silence? Over uh, hustle and bustle? I'd be bored out of my guard if there were no one else around. Not to mention that I would be out of a job. Sente and I have a nice heart to heart. Read. Someone once told me, lying isn't always a bad thing. Do you believe that there's such a thing as a white lie? I do. So that's how you feel. I'm sorry. No matter how much pain it could cause me, I always prefer to hear the most devastating truth over any lie. Read and I talk more about the idea of lying. Okay, let's get her to rank 10. Even I can't focus on work. I keep I don't get it. I feel so nervous when I'm around the commander. How much does it add? Do, you, do I know? I'll just use one. That's fine. Frustrating. Even when I'm working, I can't get the commander out of my head. Hey, boss. Blank and I just finished up today's lucky draw. Would you like to try? Draw twice. Uh oh. Unfortunately, it is an unlucky day for you. Don't worry, I'm right here. Nor and I talk about today's fortune. Okay, who else do I put in? Uh, didn't I get the new one? Where is she? Where is she? I am blind. Where did I get her? The new... Oh, wow. There we go. I'll put this offering of yours to good use. <laughs> Why are you so eager to have a closer relationship with me? Well, either way, I won't say no to it. Oh, what to do? I miss the commander even when we see each other all the time. Is, is this feeling... love? So, does that mean we've become closer friends? Actually, I wish we were closer than this. All right, let's go to the Ark, we can claim these, need two more, interception, Thank you. 
enemy system. Hacking completed. Looking forward to this. I'll be with you until the very end. You're mine! Everyone, give us everything you've got! Nice to play around with them for a bit longer. Good game. It would have been nice to play around with them for a bit longer. And finally, simulation room 5C. You've already reached this. It's hard to predict this one, but I'm gonna give it all. Need me? <sighs> Wake me up when the battle is over. Enoch and I are apparent. <sighs> Wake me up when the battle is over. The simulation room... Hmm. It's going to be a bore, isn't it? Enoch and I are apparently... Hmm. It's going to be a bore, isn't it? Enoch and I are apparently sisters, but I've never seen her before. I'm impressed you've made it this far. I'll give you that much. You've made it far enough. That's it's nice. It's time for me to take the gloves off. That's a lot of attacks. Like now we should completely destroy it. We have a like 13% damage boost. Crazy. Okay, that's another 600, so we can do two pulls. Unfortunate. Nikkei upgrading can wait for not next time, uh, golden ship time. One more challenge mode. Until the very end. It would 
would have been nice to mm -hmm. play around with them nice. for a bit longer. And now we just need to do the actual story. 111. Follow mass. This just scrambles onto the deck of the ship. Over there! Huh? The pirate's eye. I think that's it. Mass points to the crow's nest of the ship. Oh, I get it now. Since the crow's nest gives the greatest amount of visibility, you could consider the ship's eye. Maybe you'll do something. I knew I'd get it. I'll get up. Let's see. Looking around the deck on the ship. The main mast is in complete disrepair. Nearly all steps on the red ladder being broken. Scaling it would be a risky proposition. Are you sure? Climbing up there be okay. It won't break, will it? I think it'll be okay, as long as just one person goes up. One person? Exactly. I'll go. I'm the one who dragged everyone in this crazy adventure. I'm also claiming that there's a treasure at the top of this crow's nest. A true pirate should stand behind their word. Sure, but still. You all trusted in me and were willing to accompany me on this adventure up to the surface. I wait to you to find the treasure with my own hands. I'm asking you to trust me on one last time. I believe that there is in fact a treasure at the top. No matter what happens, what important is that our adventure is full of passion. I trust you. You're sure to find the treasure. Thank you, Captain. There's treasure. Definitely. Need to Freema. Hold on. Anchor closes her eyes. Last. The rider is picking up something. There's definitely something up there. It must be the treasure. I know it is. Even you have my bag, Anchor. Thank you, everyone. I won't come back empty-handed. Final boss, let's go. Nice. Oh yeah, I should start saving up for the hard mode. Oh God. Okay. Mass climbs onto the precariously damaged ladder and starts to ascend using the new remaining ranks which are intact. Yeah. Are you okay? I'm fine, don't worry. Master uh, regathers her composure and stretches her hand out for the next rung. Here we go. She's nearly there now. One rung left. Master only has to climb one last rung until she's at the crow nest. Even though her arms and legs are beginning to tremble halfway up, it's too late though for her to stop now. Just take it nice and easy. You've got this. Come on. We can do it. Driven forward by the encouragement of her friends waiting for her below. Mast reaches out her hand. And slips. Mast? Ugh. Mast throws her arms and clings to one of the ranks on the bladder. Ugh. If they cut off your legs, then you start to crawl. That's the pirate way. After several tension filed minutes, which leave us all sweaty palms, Mast finally makes it to the crow's nest. Uh, whew, I thought I was a toast pack there. Mast takes a swig from the bottle tied to her waist, steadies her breathing, then looks around. This has to be the pirate's eye they were talking about. High atop the crow's nest. The sparkling emerald ocean lies spread out before her. Golden sands glisten in the sunlight. Having been unsoiled by humans for decades, nature's bounty has been allowed to unfold undisturbed 
in all its splendor. It's beautiful. Easy to forget sometimes, but the surface can be a wondrous place. Don't you think so, Mor uh, Morgan? Hey, Morgan! Very good! Morgan takes off, soars through the air, and then lands somewhere in the crow's nest. Mast found it! Mast found it! Huh? Don't tell me that's... Everyone! Mast zooms down to the watchtower at a near supersonic speed. Be careful! Look at this! Mast produces a golden bottle. What is it? Golden bottle? It's not a bottle that's gold. Mast shakes the bottle and the gold-colored liquid inside swirls. Wow, so pretty! So it's the liquid inside that's golden? That's right. This was the only thing up in the grocery nest. This must be the treasure left behind by the ocean god. I would tend to agree with you. I'm sorry. We didn't find the treasure everyone was hoping for. Still. Mm. Prima opens a bottle and takes a sip. Prima, we don't even know what's in there. No, oh, this is the treasure. Yeah? The ocean god, definitely. I wanna try some. Uh, wow, it's super sweet, delicious though. You want the sips, Captain? Take a bottle for anchor and have a swig. Ah, an overwhelming sweetness is nearly enough to melt my tongue close my mouth. And a fruity aroma lingers in my nostrils. It's as if I've tasted the ocean itself. And a wave of intoxicating flavors has come crashing down upon my taste buds. It's delicious! Is it really that good? Ah, oh my gosh, it's amazing! What do you so? It certainly qualifies as treasure to me. I guess. Not feeling sorry for us, then let's take another dip in the ocean. Huh? Everyone, look over there! Is that the... I look in the direction Anchor points out. At the far end of the emerald waters, a thick ocean fog descends. Amongst the haze, there is a dazzling golden light. And the silhouette of a gigantic ship can vaguely be made out. After a brief moment, the shadow floats by and disappears just as quickly as it arrived. Did you all just see that? Yeah, I saw it! The golden ship. But it does exist. Captain Alligator's golden ship. It's not just a folk tale. Our adventure wasn't in vain after all. Everyone, thank you so much. It's only because you all were willing to come up with here with me that our adventure had a happy ending. Asked. Yes, we'll have to find a golden ship next time. Go on board. Hmm, that adventure isn't over yet. We're just taking a break until we set sail once again. Captain, up in. On a sea ship. I want to go too next time. I still need to see if there's any golden starfish inside a golden ship. You guys, another adventure, another adventure. All right then, our adventuring days aren't over yet. Next time, we'll be sure to find a golden ship. Nice. And let's spend the last three tickets on these. We won! Yep. Vital one here. All right, we can do one more pull. Unlucky. Alright, uh, like I said, the day is going to be very short, so I'm just going to call it a day. Tomorrow is going to be longer since it's Sunday, and Sunday we also have more stuff to do. Every Sunday we do. If you want to check what's on the tribe tower? Yeah, it's Marcellus. I can't really do that. Yeah. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.